welcome back. Welcome to another holiday video. My name is Jeanette. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Today, I will be showing you everything that's in my kids' Christmas stocking. Now, I've been collecting stuff since pretty much the summertime. I started buying things. Actually, when we took our trip to Disney World, I was getting little things here and there, and I've just been piling up ever since the summer months, so I'm pretty much ready for the stockings. I actually think I have a little bit too much. I might actually have to put a few things in like one of those play boxes or treasure boxes because it might be a little too much for their stockings. Now, if you guys haven't watched the What I Got My Kids for Christmas video, I will link it below if you're looking for some Christmas gift giving ideas for kids ages 2 to 11. As some of you may already know, I have two kids. Um, I have a daughter named Penelope. She is going to be two years old in January, and I have a son named Maximilian who is four and a half, and I also shop for my 11-year-old nephew, which I also bought some stocking stuffers for him as well. All right, so before we jump into what we got for the stocking stuffers, I'm going to show you the actual stockings that I got for my kids. I actually purchased these last year from Pottery Barn Kids. Uh, I think that they actually still have them, so if you go on the website, you might still be able to to buy these if you're interested in them. I love them. I saw them on the website. They were running a sale when I actually purchased them. So I got them for like 30% off. And of course the highlight of the stocking is that they light up. When you have these over the mantle and you turn on the light, they look absolutely beautiful, especially in the nighttime. Let's get into the stocking stuffers. And I think we're going to start with Penelope, the youngest. All right, so if you saw my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video, you guys saw that I bought one of the big cuddles um, in the Minnie Mouse version for Penelope. So I did get her quite a few of the small ones. They're just so adorable. I was only gonna get two of them but I couldn't pick just one because I love them all. I got her Minnie Mouse here. She's sleeping, super cute. I got her Stitch here. How adorable is that one? Of course, I had to get her Mickey Mouse. How could I leave Mickey Mouse out? And then last but not least, I got her Dumbo because I love the ears. I think she's gonna love like feeling the ears and touching them. It's such a texture thing. So I decided to grab her Dumbo as well. So over the summer when Shop Disney was doing their summer clearance, I decided to grab some summer items for her. We are gonna take another trip to Disney World in May. So I figured why not get her a few things for summertime fun. I went ahead and I grabbed her these frozen goggles. They have Anna and Elsa there on the side. You can see the little stickers. Retailed original $7.99 and I got them for like $2.50 guys. They were on super sale, super clearance. And then I also got her these cute little Minnie Mouse glasses that were also on clearance. They retailed originally for $6.99 and I think I got them for $2.50 as well with the coupon. She's finally letting me tie up her hair in little ponytails. However, if I do it, I have to use one of these little skinny hair ties that are almost impossible for her to get out herself. Um, so she loses the battle with these. She tries to pull them out, but she can't, so she eventually just leaves it alone, and her ponytail just stays intact. So I got these at Marshall's for $2.99, the little container shaped like a rainbow, and you have all sorts of pretty colors there. I always get my kids toothbrush or toothpaste for their stocking. I'm just getting Penelope interested in brushing her own little teeth. But this one is by Dr. Brown's. We love Dr. Brown's, right? We use the bottles when they were babies, and we trust this brand. So I went ahead and I got this one it's so cute it says from years one through four and it's shaped like a little flamingo so how adorable is this this is going to make toothbrushing fun and i thought this would make a great stocking stuffer this little brand ever eaten it's hard to focus it there uh, my camera doesn't focus that great when i do little close-ups this is a little lip balm that's made for babies we're in a state that's very cold and it gets very dry so i decided to get her a very good quality lip balm this was highly reviewed on amazon and i will leave the link below in the description box if you are interested I saw these cute little finger puppets at Walmart. I was actually in the chip aisle and they cross merchandise these in the chip aisle. They were like in the little ends. And I was like, these are so adorable for a stocking stuffer. I actually bought them a long time ago. I wanna say that I bought these two months ago and I totally forgot about them. I did get her two different sets. She absolutely adores Peppa Pig. So I grabbed her the Peppa Pig set. And then of course, who doesn't love Disney princesses? I love Disney princesses. These are gonna be incredibly fun for bath time and it's just gonna make taking a bath way more enjoyable for them. Another thing I found at Walmart in a very random place. It wasn't even in the toy section. But if you know a child that loves a troll movie, this might be right up their alley. I thought he was super cute. I don't even know his name. Oh, his name is Branch. There you go, his name is Branch. And he's super cute. I think I watched the first one, actually. This is a Target find. You guys know, if you watch my previous videos, I love the little Disney duckies that you find at the Bullseye Playground in the dollar spot at Target. So I went ahead and grabbed her the Disney duck that is Christmas themed. These little Disney princesses are also a Walmart find. If you go to the checkout section uh, towards the front on the bottom, they always have these stocked and they have so many different princesses. It's not even funny. So I went ahead and I grabbed her Elsa from Frozen and Ariel. This cute, adorable, incredible straw. It's like one of those little twirly straws. I actually bought this at the Disney Resort when we went to Disney World over the summertime. Definitely glad that I grabbed it because Penelope is totally into straws now. I'm excited to put this in her stocking because I know it's something simple, but she's gonna enjoy using it. 
I found this cute little tumbler in the dollar spot at Target. They had two different ones. I'll show you a different one when I show you Max's stuff because I also bought him one of the little tumblers. It has a little flip top here, super cute. It says Destined to Dazzle. It has a few different Disney princesses and I think I got this for $3 at the Target dollar spot. I always pick up little loofahs and bath things for my kids in their stocking. Both of my kids go crazy for Moana. Walmart had these cute little loofahs with different Disney characters. I'm telling you, they had all sorts of characters. I did get an Olaf one from Max. I'll show you that when I show you his little stocking stuffer haul. I showed this previously in my Walmart Christmas haul, but I'm going to show it again because I'm actually going to put it in my kid's stocking for Christmas morning. I bought them both these little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer noses, and these actually light up. So I thought this was super cute. They're not going to keep it on. I know my kids are a little bit stubborn when it comes to putting hats on or little things on their face but I thought this was a cute idea that if they keep it on long enough maybe I can take some pictures we'll see Max made out like a bandit what can I say Max made out like a bandit I don't even know where to put all this stuff it's definitely not all gonna fit in a stocking but I'll probably just grab the best of and put it in the stocking and the rest will go in a box this was a Walmart find it's called bright lights and it's a shark uh, if you press up here the shark lights up so it acts like a little flashlight and there are different settings on there it flashes and it does all these crazy things so max absolutely adores flashlights he always like brings one to bed and he like plays with it on the ceiling again found it at walmart and it was very inexpensive couldn't have been more than five dollars totally worth it if your kids into flashlights this I found at the Target dollar spot. It is called Inflatable Punch Ball and it is Marvel Spider-Man and you blow air into the ball and then I think you can punch it. So I think this is just a great little thing that we can do with him. I don't think he'll be able to blow this up on his own, but we'll definitely help him get it to that size so he can use it as a punch ball. But I thought this was a great little addition for a stocking stuffer. Saw this in the boys section. It is just the Cat and Jack little neck warmer and hat. I always get him a little hat or socks or something to put in his stocking and I just love the idea of this neck warmer it looks like a little shark with an open mouth so I thought this was a cute little idea and then the hat there kind of reminds me of Jaws which is super cool he's really into sharks wait a minute this retail for $15 this is like borderline regular gift not stocking stuffer I saw this recently on Amazon as a suggestion and I thought it was so cool they had so many different designs so many different creatures and animals so if you flip it this way you get the little angry cat see and then if you flip it this way, you get the little happy cat. Max actually gets OT, uh, that's occupational therapy for those that don't know. So I thought this was a great little tool slash toy for him to use during therapy or just for us to work on at home because he can flip it back and forth and it's just a good way to strengthen his hands. This little Zurich popper I actually bought when we were in Disney World when we got off the Buzz Lightyear ride in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, of course, you exit through the gift shop and they got me with this one. I was like, this is adorable. It's Zurg from Toy Story and he has a little popper ball so you're gonna put it in there and then you squeeze it and they pop out so I just thought this was a cute little interactive toy for Max and I'm gonna add it to his stocking forgetting that I had the Zerk popper I bought this popper for him at Walmart and this one is a little narwhal I couldn't leave it behind it's just so cute this one comes with four little poppers the Zerg one might be a little bit harder to find maybe you can go on shop Disney and try to find it but again I did buy it at the theme park so I'm not sure how available that would be however this one I did purchase at Walmart so it might be a little bit easier to find um, it is by the brand hog wild again we're working on a lot of sensory stuff with Max so I figured let's get him some play-doh and kinetic sand Actually, he has tons of kinetic sand, so I didn't get any of that for him this year, but he's kind of out of Play-Doh, so I decided to get him something different. This one is called Wodo, and it's by Chuckle and Roar. I found this at Target. I actually found it in store, and they only had a few left, so I went ahead and I grabbed this. All right, now this one is a little bit weird. I have a makeup brush that has glitter in the stick, and Max keeps taking it because he loves to watch the glitter go back and forth. So I went on Amazon.com, and they actually sell the glitter sticks. This is exactly like my makeup brush, only it does and have the brush on the end and this is going to be perfect for him he's going to love this he's going to be able to spend so much time looking at the sparkles going up and down um why didn't i get one of these for me i might actually have to hijack this but this is a really cool piece found this on amazon.com got him a couple containers of the silly sense crayola dough this i found at the target dollar spot and i want to say it retailed for three dollars it comes with different flavors blueberry grape strawberry orange green apple and banana went ahead and i grabbed these little darth vader cozy socks from the gap for mr Max. I also found these cute little Minecraft uh, gloves for him at the Target Boys section. I also got him a loofah from Walmart. This one is Olaf. So I got Penny the Moana one and Max gets the Olaf. 
So I found these fun oodles in the Target dollar spot. They retailed for $3. They're super stretchy, bouncy. I think this is going to be a lot of fun for his sensory play. So I went ahead and I grabbed these. Also bought Max a little toothbrush. This one I actually got off of Amazon.com. It is by Crayola and it actually has the timer light. So it's essentially training your child to keep brushing for at least a minute. So once the timer light goes out, that means that they can stop brushing and their teeth should be clean. His Crayola markers are starting to get dried out. So I decided to get him another pack. I picked these up at Walmart and these are the bold and bright markers. There's 20 in the pack and I got them for $1.99. So wonderful deal there. And last but not least, this is the little tumbler that I got for Max. Penelope got the princess version and then Max got the little version with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse ice skating. It's red and blue, very festive, very seasonal. I lied, I lied. There's one more item. One more sensory item that comes in this box. I ordered it on amazon.com. It's called floating color timer. But look how cool this is. Doesn't this remind you? I mean, if you're from like the 80s and 90s, you'll know what I'm talking about. But doesn't this remind you of like the old school toys? Max loves stuff like this. Like he likes that glitter stick and this is kind of very similar. I think this will be a great little sensory toy to add to his collection. All right, guys, home stretch. We're almost done with the stocking stuffers. Moving on to my 11 year old nephew. I also got him one of those little marble punch balloons I think he's really gonna enjoy this this is actually for ages 8 plus so we have to monitor Max while he's playing with it so this will be right up my nephew's alley he's gonna love this he's gonna love playing with it he loves to play rough so we got him the Hulk I think he's gonna really enjoy this I love the Hulk I just love that he's so green so if you guys watched the what I got my kids for Christmas video um, you saw that I got my nephew a lot of the Mario Lego sets these complement those Lego sets but they're little blind bags so there are different characters here that you can get and you just don't know which one it's gonna be I'm gonna add these to his stockings so they can complement his Lego sets. Speaking of Legos, I showed this in my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video. Uh, it is that little Minecraft set. It's small enough that I'm actually going to add it to his stocking. So got this on Target.com. Flash sale, Black Friday sale. It was like $6 from $12. So I was happy. So all the kids got toothbrushes this year. Didn't want to leave my nephew out. So I got him this cool little spin brush that is Jurassic World. Found this at Walmart. I think it retailed for $6. I was checking out at Walmart. I saw these cute little Mario characters. He loves Super Mario, so I just thought these were a cute little addition to add to his little figurine collectibles. So you have this cool little bomb guy here, and then you have Green Toad, which I thought were super cool. So I went ahead and grabbed those for him. What is a stocking without candy, right? So I went ahead and I grabbed my nephew a few things of candy. This one is a little candy cane with Haribo gummies inside. Here's also Haribo gummy candies, but they are shaped like candy canes. And then I got him the Black Forest Santa Snacks gummies, which he actually loves. He loves his brand, Black Forest. Uh, it's actually his favorite gummy candy. So I found this at the Dollar Tree. I originally bought it for myself, but I figured let me put it in my nephew's stocking because he's actually a kid and gonna enjoy it way more than I will. Uh, but it is called a ball shooter. And since I bought Max so many ball shooters or ball poppers, I figured I can just play with Max's and give this to my nephew for him to enjoy. My nephew loves slime and all that good stuff. So I did go ahead and buy him this this play-doh slime this one is called super cloud so it's the fluffy one this I found at Walmart and they had an array of different colors last but not least I got him this cute little Santa just so it's peeking out of his stocking I also found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I think it's a cute little plushie look how adorable that is he's probably not gonna play with this all that much but it's gonna look super cute in his stocking when he opens it on Christmas all right friends that is everything that I got from my kids Christmas stocking I hope that I was able to give you some inspiration and some ideas for stocking stuffers if you guys haven't watched the what I got my kids for Christmas video again I will link that below because that's a super fun one with a lot of different ideas for Christmas gifts if you haven't subscribed hit the red subscribe button and like this video you can also find me on Instagram at the name is Jeanette I hope you are having an amazing holiday and I'll catch you on the next one bye Up on the housetop, reindeer pie.